It's the U.S. State Department's first annual report on religious freedom since Donald Trump came to power. And it comes down hard on two of Trump's allies in the Gulf, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. With regards to the Saudis, the U.S. Secretary of State has voiced some of the criticism in the report. We remain concerned about the state of religious freedom in Saudi Arabia. The government does not recognize the right of non-Muslims to practice their religion in public and applied criminal penalties, including prison sentences, lashings, and fines for apostasy, atheism, blasphemy, and insulting the state's interpretation of Islam. Of particular concern are attacks targeting Shia Muslims and the continued pattern of social prejudice and discrimination against them. Rex Tillerson had similar words for Bahrain with special focus on the status of the Shia Muslim opposition. And in Bahrain, the government continued to question, detain, and arrest Shia clerics, community members, and opposition politicians. Members of the Shia community there continue to report ongoing discrimination in government employment, education, and the justice system. Bahrain Foreign Ministry reacted in a tweet affirming that statements made by U.S. Secretary of State are incorrect and reveal a deep misunderstanding of facts. The report's release coincides with an increase in violent confrontations between Saudi security forces and Shia protesters in the eastern province, as well as international condemnation of a recent court ruling to execute 14 young Shia men for their alleged participation in anti-government protests. In Bahrain, the latest report by Human Rights Watch says there has been a marked deterioration in the human rights situation in the past year. It says Bahrain's government leaders dissolved the main political opposition group, al wifaq jailed the country's leading human rights activist, and harassed and prosecuted Shia clerics who peacefully protested the arbitrary revocation of the citizenship of al wifaqs spiritual leader, Sheikh Isa Qasim. During his recent trip to the Gulf, President Trump publicly praised his Saudi and Bahraini allies. These reports are issued year after year, and they do not necessarily uh, transfer into, uh, let's say, components or are not incorporated necessarily into U.S. Uh, foreign policy. So criticism uh, is fine up to a point, but unless there is a price uh, to pay by these countries, I think the same uh, situation continues, particularly when administration after administration uh, come in and express excuses as to why they shouldn't uh, make these countries uh, pay a price uh, for, the, for that discrimination. Saudi Arabia and Bahrain are among 16 countries worldwide, which the report says should be designated as countries of particular concern in terms of violations of religious rights. There are also three, what the State Department calls entities of particular concern, ISIL in Syria and Iraq, the Taliban in Afghanistan, and Al-Shabaab in Somalia. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.